all right welcome back guys now that we've created the um array of tracks uh, the track list array um before we actually go to script.js we need to go to index html and we need to add that right so i'll duplicate this script js file at the bottom and i'll make this music.js okay so it's important you put it on top right so i'll save and yeah so i'll come here back to my script.js file <clears throat> now last time we created all of the variables that will target elements on the page right so now we're going to create other um, helper variables that will help us do stuff so the first is going to i'll just define this one i'll say let timer okay the next one is i'll say let auto play auto play okay so this auto play is just auto play no it's not camel cased okay because we already have a camel cased auto play here so i'll say let auto play be equal to zero okay okay then i would say let this one i'm going to call it index track which will represent the track that is playing per time okay and i'll set it to be equal to zero as well i'll close that and lastly i'll say let song is playing song is sorry is playing and i'll set it to be equal to false okay this one is going to help us check if a song is playing right and we're going to see why all of these helper variables are important so next we're going to create a an audio element okay so here i will say let track some people will call that audio element song let song okay but i just choose to call it track so i'll say let track be equal to document dot create element so i want to create an element right oh that's so much so create element and in brackets here i would say i want to create an audio so okay all right so we we've actually begun um creating our mp3 player this is the very first step you create a track and you create an audio element okay great so now i'm going to come here i'll add a comment and i'll say all events event list listeners okay so it's under this comment here that we're going to place all of our event listeners okay so but, all right so let's start by creating some functions so when the page actually loads the first thing we want to do like when the mp3 opens up the first thing we want to do is we want to load the tracks right the tracks that we have in this our music uh playlist so we want to load it so i'm going to come down here okay and okay maybe what i'll do is right below here i'm just going to add at least one event listener so that at least it's not blank there's something there and i'll add an event listener on the play button so i'll say play dot add event listener right and it's going to listen for a click it's going to listen for a click i keep making this mistake when i type click <laughs> okay and it's going to call a function okay so for now i'll call that function just play okay simple function like that all right so but i'm not going to do anything yet okay so i'll come down here and i'll create a function that will load all the tracks so i'll say load tracks and by track we just mean songs okay it's just difference in word okay so now um we're going to say function and we're going to say load track okay this function is going to take a parameter and the parameter we're going to give it is this index track here index track actually means the current track that you know is supposed to be played so i'm going to grab this index track and i'm going to paste it in here right good i don't want to be too fast with this stuff now remember we created a timer uh timer variable here right we defined it here so what we're going to do is and 
and there are a lot of things that are interdependent so there are a lot of functions we we'll have to create to make everything you know actually work out fine so what we're going to do next is we're going to define some properties for this track um, variable we created here uh, and I, I see something here song is playing should be false not flaws come on so false <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. So we're going to define some properties for this track um, variable or track element we created here. So now the first property, I'll say track. And the first property is going to be the SRC. Okay. And I'll set it to be equal to. So what I'm going to make reference to now is this music here. Right. This track list. Okay. That's what I'm going to make reference to. So I'll set it to be equal to track list. And then... I would open this um, square bracket and then I will, I will then bring in this index track. Okay. Remember, we said that this index track is going to represent the current track that is playing. Okay. So I'll say index track dot path. Okay. And when we say dot path, what are we talking about? So if you come back here, you see that one of the properties inside this our object is path. Okay. So that's what we're talking about. So um, let's come back here. So we're going to define all the properties. So what I will do is I will I will just you know duplicate this four times, three times. Sorry. So this one is going to be uh, this second one is going to be the for the title. Okay. So we've defined the track path. Now we're going to update the title of the um, song. Okay, and remember we created a variable for that, this guy here, title, and then we also have artist. So I'm going to come here and then I'll say title dot inner HTML and I'll set it to be equal to so track list. And what we're making reference to now is the name of the song. Okay, so I'll come here and I'll change this to name. Okay, great. Alright, so the next one we are going to make reference to is, I think we should have actually do, done it from top to bottom. So let's track the, make reference to the image. So what I'm going to do is, let me just copy this, cut this guy and, you know, put it up here. So the image is this guy that has this track image variable. So let's just grab it. And here, <clears throat> excuse me, here we're going to say track image, so control V dot source okay because it's an image and we're still going to go into the track list and oh, where is the image uh let me see sorry music and okay so we have the img property here so i'll come here and i'll change this to img okay and i'm sure you can guess what the last one will be right it will be for the uh artist so artist dot inner html and we'll make reference to it using this singer keyword so i'll come here track list and dot singer by the way the artist we're talking about here is this variable we created here for artist okay which is targeting the artist on this page here right so let me all right, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to use a method to load the track and it's actually track track dot load okay so there are several of these methods that we're going to encounter as we build this mp3 okay there is track dot play track dot pause and all of that so this method will help us load the track first okay so this is the first step right now what we're going to do is we're going to create a um, we're going to create a function that will play the track. Okay, that's what we're going to do next, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say play song. So play song, and then let's create a function to play song. Okay, by the way, this load track we did here, 
you have to actually come out here and call the function so i'll say load track and inside i'll give it the uh i'll give it the track index as an argument where is the track index i created okay index track okay so i'll give it index track as an argument here all right so now we are creating this function to play a song so this is going to be a very short function because we are going to just say track dot we're going to use the play method okay track dot play okay and um when the track begins to play this variable here we said song is playing that is a set to false initially we're going to change it to true to true so i'll come here i'll paste that in and i'll set it to be equal to true okay then one more thing right when you click this play button when a song is playing if the song is playing what you want the icon you want here should be the pause icon okay so i'm gonna say play dot inner html right and i'm going to set it to be equal to so what we're going to do is i'm just gonna go to my index html and grab any font or some icon i can find so i'll just grab this one so that i don't have to type and then i'll just change this to uh i'll change this to pause and of course i need to uh and i'm going to make this single quotes right so that this one here i'll make it single quote so that i don't have any conflict okay so single quotes and then the conflict is gone okay so basically this is our function to play a track okay um now this event list now we added to the play button we're then going to make it play song okay so when you click on the play button it should call this uh, play song function okay so i'll save and let's test it out so hopefully and oh 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 oh, oh there's something that something is terribly wrong with what we just did here and that is the fact that i corrected something um like when i wasn't recording okay so let me actually show you what i corrected you see this um what is it i wanted to say here uh, i was going to say something i can't remember what it's in the index html anyway it's not actually related to it kind of is related let me just check if there is an error here <laughs> like there are so many things going through my mind right now i'm i'm terribly sorry for this uh, level of disorganization okay there's an error here so it says cannot set property source of null at load track okay yes this is the error i was actually anticipating because i knew that there was an error with this stuff so it's on js 37 line 37 so let me let me minimize this and let me look for line 37 and let's see what we have there okay so 37 here we have track image dot source and we're having an error here so let's actually go to this track image right let me just right click and go to the definition where i defined it so this is it right here and it's targeting the track image class on the home page so if you go to the home page now and you look for where you have the image so let me just look so this is the image right you see that we we, we actually forgot to put a class there so that's what i wanted so in this image right you have to give it a class of track hyphen image okay all right and save and if we let me expand this one more time and if we play the song one more time we don't have that error so I, so I can't post the song, right? So I have to refresh the page, okay? But I'm I'm actually happy that I actually, you know, found that error and I corrected it, okay? Something I remembered. 
okay so um we've been able to play the song right from our javascript but the idea is when you play this song you've added an event listener to this play button and it's only to play the song but ideally you want to be able to both play and pause the song from this single button right so what we are going to do first is let's create a function that will pause the uh what's it called the song that is you know the track so i'll come here right i can actually just duplicate this guy here to save myself some time so i'll duplicate this play song and i'll just change it to pause song and i'll also change the name of the function to pause song so here instead of saying track.play calling the play method we're going to call the pause method okay now when you pause a song this song is playing equals true you're going to flip it back to false okay then the play.innerHTML we're going to um, change it back to the play button okay great but you see this event listener we added for this play button it means we have to change it right so uh before we i'm going to come down here i'll create another function so here i'll say um what did i actually call that i'll this function will be responsible for handling the logic for whether to play or whether to pause the you know song so i'll say play song or pause sorry song okay and the name of that function i'm going to call i'm going to say just play okay all right so now this is where we're going to see the importance of this song is playing uh it's actually a boolean okay boolean is either true or false i know sometimes i just say variable okay so this boolean we created here it's this is where it actually is very important and you'll notice that inside of this play and pause song variable right we are flipping the boolean so when you play the song we set the song is playing to true when you pause it we set it to false so now this just play um what's it called function we are creating here we are going to check if song is playing right is equal to false in other words if the song is actually not playing what do we want to do we want to play the song so i'll copy this and paste that in right then i'll close it so i'm saying that if the song is not playing play the song else which means if the song is playing what do we want to do we want to pause the song so i'll come here i'll paste that in and i'll close it up okay so what that means is that inside of this play button i will then add the just play function right which we then you know have handle the logic for whether to play or to pause the song so i'll come here and let's test it out so i'll click on play and it starts to play and then i'll click on pause and it pauses the song okay so you see how we've been able to use um you know one function to handle the play and the post um event so um i think at this point we are going to stop here and in the next video we'll continue the project okay so let's just um stop here